hi guys welcome back to my channel for today's video i'm gonna be doing this chit chat get ready with me i'm getting ready to go to dinner for two of my friends birthdays so we're just gonna do hair makeup and outfit but while we're getting ready i decided that i wanted to do a little chitty chat with you guys and uh, you already know by the title of this video that it's going to be on how to be confident and just have self-love i wrote down 10 tips topics that I have that I feel like are keys to having self-love and just loving yourself being confident and if you want to hear what I have to say then just keep on watching okay the first tip that I have for how to be confident is not caring about what others think and I feel like this is very important and this is the first step to being confident I know it's easier said than done but it's like caring about what other people think is just like no you cannot let others in their opinions get in your head everybody is going to have something to say about you not everybody is going to like you but that doesn't matter so as long as you love yourself then that's all that matters just blocking out the negativity anybody who has anything negative to say about you anybody who um, isn't genuine towards you then just let their opinion ride you know what I'm saying it's just like that does not matter and I feel like once I just stopped caring about what other people thought about me it's just is when I was really like way more confident in myself and way more you know just aware of myself and just being confident in my own skin I know that it is hard and some things will get to you, but not caring about what other people think, don't let it get to you. And just block it out and anybody who is saying anything bad about you, they don't need to be in your life. And that's just all Mary. And that's all Mary had a little lamb, okay? But yeah, that's I feel like that's the ground, the most that's like the number one step is like not caring about what others think about you because for what like some people you have to realize some people don't even love themselves so it's just like they can't even love you they can't even appreciate you a lot of people don't even like themselves so why worry about what they think it's probably just a front if they are acting like you know that they that they love themselves so much everybody has insecurities everybody has flaws so don't even worry about it don't even think or even care or don't even dwell on it about what others think of you just let it go it is what it is you know what I mean next one is and that just goes into my next tip which will be stop comparing yourself that is also something else that is hard to do especially on social media these days where people it's uh, like social media is a big thing everybody's posting and all these things so it's hard to not compare yourself but you have to realize people only post their good moments nobody is really posting their low moments when they're down or when they're sad or depressed or bad things that have happened to them we what we put on social media is only a portion of our lives and also what we tell other people is also nobody will at least i don't believe you, you don't know everything about a person so why compare yourself you know what i mean it's just like you are only able to see a small bit of this person's life or know a small you know or only know a portion of this person's life of other people's lives so you cannot compare your life to theirs they might be on their season 32 and you're just on season five you can't compare your season five to their season 32 if that makes sense like we're all in on different paths on different journeys it's a marathon it's not a race do not compare yourself to other people because comparison is literally a thief of joy don't do it it's hard not to do but realize that you are only seeing a seeing and hearing a portion of this person's life 
we are not broadcasting everything that goes on in our lives. You just never know what people are going through and they may not always show it. So you just focus on yourself, have tunnel vision, focus on what you have going on, focus on being the best version of you. And then you will become more confident in yourself when you're only looking at yourself and not at other people and what they have going somebody who's only posting their accomplishments and not posting their dark moments you know what i mean so it's just like do not compare yourself comparison is a deep of joy period next thing that i have is to let go of situations and people who no longer serve you when you let go of those toxic people, uh, toxic relationships, whether it be a friendship or a romantic relationship or whatever, you will start to, it may hurt because this might be somebody that you love or that you care about, but in the end, it'll be better for you because you don't have somebody bringing you down and somebody who, you know, where you feel like it's all you. Only that person, you're only give, you're giving and that person is only taking. That's not serving you. And that will have you feeling unconfident because you're giving and giving and giving and it's and you're not receiving anything back. And it's just like it's just like a one-way street with this person or situation that will leave you drained and that will have you feeling bad about yourself because you will look at yourself but it's like i said sometimes you never know people be going through their own situations and it may not even have anything to do with you some people do not even love themselves so when you know the situations that are no longer serving you or people who are no longer serving you who don't bring out the best in you then you gotta let those people go. And that goes into my next tip, is to stop pouring into cups that don't pour into yours. You're giving and giving and giving to this person or this situation, and it's just like being a dead horse, and that will leave you drained. You have to have relationships that have balance, where you both give and take, you both benefit from the relationship or the situation it has to be a thing where you both benefit from it otherwise it's gonna leave you drained and you're gonna feel like you know unconfident you're not gonna feel confident in yourself or you're not you're gonna look at yourself and you should not be doing that another person's action Especially if you know in your heart you have not done anything to them. Another person's actions does not reflect on you as a person. Do not let somebody else's inability to see your value and your worth make you feel like that you're not, you know, worth it. Or you're not, you know, just that person, like a good person when you really are. Like I said, it could be just that person. But you want to... Make sure that you are only in situations and dealing with people who serve you, who bring out the best in you. So that goes to my next point. Surround yourself with positive people. You will find, honey, sit with winners. The conversation will be different, I promise you. People who are confident in themselves, people who are actually genuine people, surround yourself with those people because that type of stuff, positivity and just genuineness, that will rub off on you and you will feel good about yourself because you are surrounded by people that make you feel good and who are just positive that will help you to have a positive outlook on your life or on situations and things like that. You don't want to be around a negative person, a negative Nancy, because they're going to get in your head about some stuff that they got going on. You know what I'm saying? Like... Some people, and it's, a, it's about their own, you know, about their own situation and how they look at life to where they can't even, like, build you up. So, you don't want to be around somebody that's negative. You want to be around positive people. People that help you, that make you, motivate you, you know, that make you want to grow and make you want to, you know, just chase your dreams or just be a better person or help you to you know 
anything, any type of motivation, any type of positivity is good. You want to surround yourself by that. You will feel better about yourself when you're surrounded by people who bring that positive side and those good vibes and good energy out of you. I cannot tell y'all how many people I have cut off out of my life because they just weren't positive people. And uh, what's that quote? What young boy say? I cut off my day ones for the win. That's like, I feel that in my heart. Like, I've cut off some like some people just because the fact that you're you're not serving me. Like this 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 relationship, this situation, you're not serving me. You're not a positive person. Like you're really negative. Just like energy, having bad energy, being shady, petty, you know, things like that. No, I have a zero tolerance for that. I'm only surrounding myself by people who are genuine, people who I feel like are genuine, make me feel love. What uh go where you're celebrated, not tolerated. Like you have to surround yourself with good people and good energy and good vibes. Negative energy, negative vibes, no, we cannot hang out, we cannot be friends. I don't care how long we've been friends or whatever, it stops here. Cut those people loose. Next thing, be yourself. This is another huge one. You gotta be yourself. There's only one you. That's your superpower. That's your advantage. That there is nobody else on this earth like you. You are one of one. Be yourself. Don't try to be like anybody else. That's what makes you unique. That's what makes you you because you are your own self. You have to be yourself. When you're being yourself, you don't have to fake anything. You don't have to fake an image. You don't have to be on the internet tapping and all this you can just be yourself you don't have an image to maintain or you know just lies or anything like that you be yourself your authentic self don't care about what other people think and you will just be confident because you know you are you you are original you are authentic being you being yourself is just enough you have to know that being yourself is good enough and that's all that matters. And that's your advantage over other people. That's what makes you stand out is that you're yourself. Go with your own mind. Go with what you think. Don't go off of what other people are doing or what other people think. Think for yourself. Stand on your own two feet and know that what you're doing is right or that you know the best decisions for yourself. Don't let other people think for you. Be yourself and do what you want to do. I feel like being myself and doing what I want to do has left me to be so confident in myself and to where I feel like I don't have to be around anybody. I could be just me and I can enjoy just me because I'm myself and I don't depend on anybody else or anything like that. I can stand on my own two feet and I don't have anybody to, you know, go after or think for me or anything like that. I can be myself and I can stand on my own two feet. And that's one thing, one, like out of the top three things that I love about myself, that will be one of them. My ability to stand on my own two feet and think for myself and never following somebody or following trends, you know, or just like following behind other people. That's one thing that I've always loved about myself is that I'm me and I make my own decisions, my own choices, and I don't let anybody else think for me. So being yourself, that's a really big one, to be yourself. Next one is to drink water. Do your skincare, drink water, and just, water is so good for you. Water has so many advantages. I don't have to sit here and just tell y'all because y'all already know how good water is for you. Water is so good for you. Doing your skincare routine. I feel like I feel so relaxed and confident after I have done my skincare routine. My skin looks nice. I wake up the next day. And when I've done my skincare at night and I wake up in the morning, my morning skin really thanks me. I feel like I'm glowing in the morning and I feel so much more confident in myself because my skin is glowing. My skin is looking good. My skin is clearing up. From, a, from, you know, if I've had a breakout, when I see that my skin is clearing up and my skin is just getting better and progressing by doing my skincare routine, drinking my water and minding my own business, that makes me more confident. It makes me feel like, you know, I'm comfortable in my own skin. 
my skin plays a huge role in how confident I am in myself and just going out and not. I feel so much more confident now. My skin used to be terrible. There was one point in time where I did not want to leave the house without makeup. Like, literally. But now, I can literally just walk out the house any kind of way I can go around. You know, I'm not, you know, I'm not feeling like insecure when I'm around boys without makeup or just anybody without makeup. I feel secure now that my skin is better and my skin is more clear. Just having nice skin and getting into my skincare regimen. So get you a skincare routine, work on your skincare routine, stop letting negativity get to you. And yeah, don't let others and their opinions get to you. Go do your skincare routine. Like somebody makes you mad, don't cry over a boy. Go do your skincare routine. Like period. Having glowy, nice skin will really make a huge difference. You will find that so many people are so much more confident when their skin is clear. Um, this goes and that ties into my next tip which is to pamper yourself. When you look good, you feel good, period. Like, and I know that might sound a little cheesy, but it's really true. I feel like when I look good, I really do feel better. Even like when, like going to work or going to the store, if I like get a little, not even saying like put on makeup or something like that, but you know, just wear like a cute little outfit, put on a nice, some shoes, some, a little hat, you know, something. I feel like I feel so much better. Like even if I'm just running to the store and I put on a cute, like a cute little jogger suit, a cute little hat and a cute little bag, purse. I, I feel good. I feel confident when I'm walking into the store. I'm getting compliments when I'm going to the store. And I just, you know, I'm, I know I go into like one of my, I hate going, but I go into this neighborhood Walmart but and i hate going to walmart but it's this one like boy and he always be like you're so pretty like you know and it's just like you get compliments when you look good you feel good and that is the truth getting dressed up not saying you have to do it every day but definitely try to do it get your nails done get your toes done get your eyebrows done now i'm not saying splurge or i'm not saying if you don't have them and i understand if you don't have the money or if you're on a budget but so you don't have to do it all the time but you know every once in a while you can treat yourself me personally i turn treat myself <laughs> i've taken treat yourself into oh i've gotten od with it like buying stuff and doing stuff for myself every day or something like that but you definitely don't have to but you will find just pampering yourself getting your nails done every once in a while that'll make you feel so much more confident buy yourself nice things not saying they have to be expensive just because they're nice doesn't mean it's expensive but do for yourself get your toes done you know get a wax or something when, baby when i get that wax oh i'm feeling like a brand new person not even lying like i'm really feeling like what like yeah i'm really feeling like myself again as i get or getting my lashes filled lashes done just small things like pampering myself not saying you have to do all of them but something some type of pampering for yourself will make you feel so much more confident in yourself and the next one that i have is positive thoughts speaking positively over your life and over yourself now that's hard because you know we really we are me if you're anything like me i'm my worst critic i'm my worst enemy like i'm my own enemy when it comes to me i'm my biggest critic but your mind you're in your head all the time you're always in your mind make sure that it's a nice place to be and that's something that i also have to work on is to something that i do work on every day is just positive thoughts and when i pray i ask god to just cleanse my mind and cleanse my thoughts help me to think positive positively when it comes to myself and my life don't even you know try to block out negative thoughts and negative self-talk think and speak confidently to yourself and over your life and you will find that you know 
2020, your thoughts become your actions. Your mind is the most powerful thing on your body. Your mind, your brain, your thoughts turn into your words. Your words turn into your actions. So you really want to make sure that you are having those positive thoughts about yourself and over your life. That will really make a difference and definitely change your confidence when you are speaking positively and talking nicely to yourself and not being so hard on yourself. And that's something that I work on every day is not being so hard on myself. You know, celebrating the small accomplishment. Don't get so wrapped up. I have this bag too, getting wrapped up. So, you know, oh, what's next? What's next? And what I want to do is I'm forgetting that I'm where I wanted to be three months ago. This That I'm living in what I was praying for, you know, so just be mindful of that and take a minute show gratitude at all times that is the number one thing that helps me to stay confident and stay focused is to show gratitude for the things that i do have and give thanks for the things that i already have and just speak positively and just you know not be negative or in trying not to be so doubtful of myself and my life my last tip and this is number 10 also a big one is to know your worth put yourself first in situations do not surround yourself with people or things that are not genuine and things that are not making you that don't reflect your worth okay because people some people be knowing your worth they just be hoping that you don't so you have to know your worth and you have to know that certain things just ain't for you. You know what I mean? And you just have to know that everything is not going to work out how you want it to. But just know and keep in mind of who you are and know that you are a good person. You're a genuine person. You did all that you could in that situation or that relationship or whatever the case may be. Know your worth and know that you deserve better and, and that you will continue to give yourself better, whether that means having to leave some people behind, leave some relationships and situations behind, then just so be it. Cause People are going to try you every day. People are always going to, you know, see how far that they can push you. Or people are always going to see if they can play with you or play you. And it's just like, no, crazy tale self. <laughs> I swear that is my favorite thing to say now. Crazy tale self. That's literally like my, that's like my motto now that I always say. Crazy tale self. Because it is. Some people out here who gonna try to play with you with that crazy tail self. And you ain't gonna you're not you don't let them do that. And know your worth and know that you better than that and you deserve better and you deserve people around you who know your worth and people who treat you like your worth. That's that's the number one thing. So don't put yourself in situations where your worth is compromised or you have to compromise your worth or people who don't recognize your worth go with people who treat you like the king or queen or whatever i don't know who's watching this video the queen that you are and give you what you deserve because it's people out here who will recognize your worth and who you are and will treat you as such do not fool with them people who don't know your worth or who act like they don't know your worth you have to know your worth because if you don't know your worth how you expect other people to how you going to expect other people to know your worth if you don't know it or you letting people play with your worth like you ain't worth it when you are so if you want other people to know your worth you got to know your worth too and that means not putting yourself in situations where you're jeopardizing that or not putting it or putting yourself in situations that humiliate you or situations that don't bring out the best in you situations that bring out negativity in you or negative vibes negative energy 
vibes that no longer serve or people that no longer serve you, you need to know your worth and know that you're better than that. And when you know your worth, you feel so much more confident in yourself because you know what you will and what you won't put up with. Knowing your worth will save you in a lot of situations and will get you out of a lot of situations that are uncomfortable and that aren't good for you. So it may be hard, but it'll be worth it in the end. And it's not always gonna be easy. Being confident is that something that you will have to work on every single day, but you will get it. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you learned some tips let me know in the comments if you like this chick tag. Get ready with me. The hair, the makeup, and next is the outfit. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. To everybody you know, to subscribe to my channel. We're almost at 200 subscribers. OMG. So, yeah, subscribe to my channel. Like this video if you like this chick tag. Get ready with me. And if it was helpful to you, if you like the outfit, let me know. And leave me some comments. And give this video a big thumbs up if this video helped you at all. Or if you learned something, let's chat in the comments. I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. And subscribe. Bye. Oh, yeah. The outfit and the boots are both from Fashion Nova. Go check out my latest try on haul with all the clothes, the trendy clothes that I have. And this purse is from Shein. TTYL.